guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you a simple way how you can use ClickUp on mobile. But what I have to say first, when you would go to Google Play or you would go to iStore, my recommendation is don't use the ClickUp normal application to manage teams and tasks, but use ClickUp Legacy 2.0. This is much better application and yes, they are both not that great in my opinion, they are lagging a little bit and they are kind of slow, but still Legacy 2.0 is million times better comparing to normal ClickUp application. So let's just go to the app and let me show you everything. First, when you would enter, you can go to the left top corner to the menu and you would see your spaces. Then you would see dashboards, docs and goals and settings. Here, you can also on the, on the right bottom corner, you can see dark mode, click on that. So you can actually activate dark mode. When you're gonna be in ClickUp, click on whatever space you have. I'm going to click on YouTube. And now I have folder and with my lists, I can click back to the dashboard and I can see all my list of tasks that needs to be done. I can just come here and click new task. And now I can add a task name, which is going to be YouTube video. And now I can assign it to someone. Then you can view date. Then you can go with priority. You can attach a file, you can add tags and you can change visibility. What you can do is to click also on a free dots next to the name of it and you can add a description. And here you can add a new subtask and new checklist if you want to. So I will add a new subtask, subtask one, two, three. And voila, here we got it. Create a new task. Now task name. Yeah. But many people are saying that they have problems. Done. See that sometimes it's bugging out, you know? And voila, here we have our own task. And now you can have YouTube video. You can assign it. You have time tracked for the video. Then you have due date priority, tags, and you can also add the custom fields. Now when you got it, uh, and we added a task, YouTube video, we see it right here. What you can do now is to scroll to right, and when you're gonna scroll to right, you can see custom fields. And now I can simply click on a plus when I go to the end and slide to the, as far as I can go, I can click plus here and now you can add different columns, different custom fields. And let's say that I want to have hidden. I'm going to scroll again to right and I can, this is same as in, on your computer, Macbook, whatever. You can add progress, manual, text area, checkbox. And field name is going to be checkbox, right? Done. And voila, here we got it. And same thing again, you click plus and you just add whatever you want. You can even add a formula or even files. File, add a column, and voila, here we got it. And file appeared here. Also, what you can do is to click here, search, and you can search what was happening and for everything, what was doing, and you can search for tasks. Then you can click plus here, and you can create a reminder, you can track time, you have notepad here, you can task a tray. 
So that's what you can do. Then you have notifications here. On the right bottom corner, you get inbox. So yeah, I mean, this is not really difficult to use and master, but it's a little bit clumsy. Sometimes it's slow and I would recommend like using ClickUp application for just viewing everything and not really too much editing. So that's what I would do. So I'll just click new task here. It's going to same process. Production, okay. Task name will be YouTube video two. And you can assign it. I'm going to view the YouTube video. And as I mentioned, you can start time tracking here. And this is pretty much it. So this is how we can use the ClickUp application. Thank you very much everybody for watching. If you have any questions, ask me down in the comments. I'm really happy to help you. And yeah, have a great day and goodbye. See ya.